Welcome to the Saturday Morning Diet. I want you to know that you can do it. I did it, you can do it. Hi, my name is Bill Loganiski, and I want to share with you just what I have learned about losing weight and I also want to share with you a meal replacement discovery that we call the Joan Bars. Lastly, I can help you lose the weight that has held you back. Have you been losing the battle on weight gain? Yes, I know. I was. Do you feel out of control and helpless? I did. I, like you, felt hopeless and could not get my weight under control. Discrimination against fat people and obese people. Are, are, are we locked in our obesity? Or do you have fear of being judged? Do you keep away from exercising in public? Have you reduced your activities instead of your comfort zone? You know, gluttony is not cool. And you know, a lot of us are sort of stupid because we can't control our weight. We shouldn't accept ourselves as accepting who you are. Should never include accepting or embracing unhealthiness as a characteristic that defines who we are. You know, alcoholics, gamblers, and drug addicts can hide their flaws, but not obese and heavy people. The fact is that more calories in than out equals overweight. You can do it. I know you think you can, but I'm proof. I remember being there where you are and thinking, there's nothing that I can do. As you can see, I am not skinny even today, but I am healthier. I have lost and maintained over a 50 pound weight loss for over a year now. It all started when I couldn't button my shirt collar and my collar popped out in front of a client. I had hit rock bottom. And I knew that the time had come to take control of my weight. I want to, went to a program called Metafast, that, that was the name of it. I met a lady who was not a doctor nor a nutritionist. She explained the program cost $300 a month and that it would be required to eat one of their meals every two hours and a salad at night. I started the program and ate their meals every two hours and started to lose weight. In a conversation with my wife, Joan, she stated that for $300, she could feed a family. I also was not crazy about the taste that I had to, and that I had to prepare the food before I could eat them. I also came to realize that it was not their food. It was the fact that their food was only 100 calories. It was this realization that caused me to start researching how to create the 100 calorie meal replacement bar that we call the Joan Bar. This is how we came up with the Joan Bar Protein Meal Replacement Bars. I continue losing the weight but cut out the $300 a month expense. We are offering you a free Joan Bar's recipe, absolutely free, on our website. Once again, I want to tell you, you can do it. And all you have to do is go to our website, joanboss.com, and sign up to get our free meal replacement recipe and newsletter. Also, to get our informative ebook, go to our saturdaydiet.com website. We are offering a free 10 page report on weight loss. Now, I want you to know the reason the diet is called the Saturday morning diet is because you only get on the scale once a week. You know, if you get on the scale day after day, the weight goes up, the weight goes down, you have too much water, too little water. So it doesn't help you to be uh, uh, watching this daily. We call it the Saturday morning diet because Saturday morning is the day you get on the scale. And the reason I'm trying to do these televised, uh, live televisors, because on Saturday mornings, every Saturday morning at 10 a.m., I'm going to get on that scale and then I'm going to record my weight. As you can see, I don't know, you can't see it from there, but I started this diet May 22nd, 2010, and I weighed 272, let me see what it said there, 272 and a half pounds, and I had a 53 inch waist. My waist down is down to 43. I'm very proud of that. As you saw in my January video, by the way, today's October 1st, you know, we're getting close to uh, starting the new year. So, uh, and happy Rosh Hashanah to all our Jewish followers. The, 
the trick here is not to have a crash diet, it's to have a healthy diet. To combine carbs with protein in the right and in the proper manner in order to lose the weight. And what I do, and what I want you to do, is every Saturday morning, keep your chart and put down your progress. Now, it, like Alice in Wonderland, if you don't know where you're going, you're never going to get there. So you have to have a chart to keep track of what you've done and how well you're doing or how poorly you're doing. Now, I haven't gotten on this scale. I don't know if I went up or went down this week. Because, you know, weight loss is a struggle. It's not a one, two, three, it's over. It's a lifetime struggle. It's just like uh, alcoholics keep away from liquor. Smokers keep away from smoking. Gamblers keep away from casinos. You know, you got to struggle with it because it doesn't go away. It's here every day of our lives. You know, a smoker could stop smoking and a drinker could stop drinking and a gambler could stop gambling. But an obese and heavy person, you can't stop eating. There's no way around it. So the way to do it is to eat the right things. So I'm going to come over, get the camera. It's going to be a little bit of a jiggle. But I'm going to bring the camera over and we're going to get and see what the scale says together. So let me take off these slippers and I'm going to come over here and uh, try to get this camera to uh, position itself. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to look down and see the scale. What do we see there? Oh, there it is. Very nicely. See, I, every week I'm trying to learn how to uh, do this program a little better. And that was just a step forward. Let's see if I can get a little tighter into the uh, into the scale. Okay, here we go. We're going to see together how we're doing. There it goes. Let me get these glasses out of my pocket and the pen because every ounce counts. Here we go. You can see that I'm not doing good. 227.2 Now, let me get this camera proper now. As you can see, 272 is not uh, a good weight. So, let me do that again, just to be sure. Oh, I knew I was wrong. It's 227.2. You saw it. There it is. Let me do it again so you can see it. I was reading that in my head. Where is it? There it is. Well, you were seeing it before I was because uh, I was misreading that. Let's do that again. I say 272, that's where I started, not where I am. Boy, that was scary. Can you see that? Two twenty seven two. Let's put this back up. Too far out. See, I'm, I'm working here alone. So I don't have a cameraman. You have to bear with me. Okay. So, here we go. Today's October 1st. 2 -27 -2. And uh, I don't have my tape measure, but I know that my waist is uh, 43. Okay, so it wasn't as wonderful as I wanted it to be, but 227 from uh, 270, 272 is my 50 pounds are still off. 
and I started that in May of 2010, and today is October 1st, 2011. So I want you to stay on course and don't be afraid. Have courage. You can do it. I did it. You can do it. I'll see you next.